Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Bruce Shelton. Today is November the 8th, 2008, here in lovely Phoenix, Arizona. The subject of today's lecture is ultraviolet blood irradiation. This is the secret that saved Stalingrad from the Germans for the Russians during World War II. I'm sure many of you remember that in 1943, the German army laid siege to Stalingrad during World War II and kept the entire city captive for 18 months. They ran out of food, they ran out of drugs, they ran out of supplies, and the Russian winter set in. Well, the German army actually lost many of its members, but the Russian doctors had a secret weapon. They understood that if you took blood from a patient and exposed it to ultraviolet light and then put that blood right back into the patient's arm that you gave their immune system a special ability to fight all types of infections. Since that time that secret has spread to the West and it has made it all the way here to our office in Phoenix, Arizona. I bought my ultraviolet blood machine about 10 years ago while attending a medical week conference in Baden-Baden, Germany and have used it successfully ever since. The, the, uh, the process is very simple as you're about to see in an attached video that we've made but the patient sits in a chair, has a tourniquet put on their arm, the area where the vein puncture is made is cleansed and then a needle is put in and in the tubing of that needle is sodium citrate which is a very mild blood anticoagulant 50 cc's of blood are then withdrawn and that blood passes through a special tubing in, through a special chamber that has an ultraviolet light that radiates the blood with a very special frequency. When 50 cc's of the blood is collected in the syringe on the other side of the chamber, the process is reversed and the blood is just slowly re-injected back into the patient. The entire procedure only takes minutes as you're about to see in the attached video. But that 50 cc's of blood, the blood cells themselves, take on special qualities and their immune abilities are increased and they become like little Pac-Men that go around the body and, and help the body destroy germs. Well, think of everything that can be solved with this process. I mean, we use it in our office all the time for the common cold. It's great for combating viruses. It's great for combating influenza. It combats hepatitis. It combats all of the viral infections. Lyme disease is treated. Valley fever is treated. Chronic hepatitis is treated. Uh, and just when the body needs even a special antioxidant, lowering the level of germs in the body is a great advantage so that the immune system can do its other things and help protect the body. Now what we usually do after we do the 50 cc's of blood exchange uh, and it's the patient's own blood and it's only out of their body for several minutes and it goes right back in, it's not exposed to the air, it's not exposed to any contaminating substances and the entire procedure is totally sterile. After we do this blood exchange we then attach one of our IVs and uh, the, uh, the most common one we attach is vitamin C. Most people don't know this, but vitamin C, when it gets intracellular, metabolizes to hydrogen peroxide. Some people actually use hydrogen peroxide IVs, but very high dose vitamin C achieves the same purpose and gets the patient through the process better. Of course, we have our famous Meyer cocktails. We have our Jonathan Wright, J.W. Meyer cocktails. It's an IV that I named after the great Jonathan Wright after I heard him give a lecture on how to combat viruses. There's four ingredients that added to a Meyer cocktail, turns it into a JW Meyer cocktail. But the process of ultraviolet blood radiation is something that is very special and very beneficial to good health and we do it here in our offices at Valley Integrative Physicians. Please watch the video that is attached to this and you'll understand what we're talking about. Until next time, 
This is Dr. Bruce Shelton giving you another beneficial hint in the world of integrative and homeopathic medicine. Thank you.